Hi all, this is a short demo to show how you can use Leap Trainer to upgrade a standard web interface to a motion interface in just a few minutes. So, I've created a simple HTML page. It's just a button and a menu. You click the button, menu opens. Click again, menu closes. It doesn't have any motion capabilities. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to record a couple gestures over here in the Leap Trainer training UI and then I'm going to export them bind them to uh, the open and close functions in this page and use them to control the menu so here is the source of this HTML page as it is it's really simple it's just standard HTML I've added some styles to give some colors some uh, dimensions to the elements on the page I've got a link, which is my button. I've got the menu, and inside a list, just a standard type of list you might see in a menu. Then I've imported jQuery, and then I've got a script. When the page loads, we get references to the menu and the button. We've got open function that animates the menu uh, to open it and updates the, the label on the button. And we've got a close function, which does the opposite. And then we bind a click handler to the button, and that's all it does. So, to add motion support, the first thing we're going to do is record a couple gestures. So we come over here, and we'll record a right gesture first. Start training in one second. Right. Make sure that we're getting recognition. Not yet. Here we go. One more time. Right. And again. 66%. Okay. And then we record a left gesture. One left. And we'll make sure we get recognition. And right. And left. Okay. Now, we can export those gestures from the training UI and import them into our HTML. However, the first thing we're going to want to do on our HTML page is uh, include our JavaScript, our Leap Trainer JavaScript. So, this is the little project, this is the menu HTML page here, and in JavaScript we've just got jQuery. So first thing we're going to want to do is get leap.js and leap.trainer.js and add them to the project. Then in our HTML where we've included jQuery we can include leap.js and also leap.trainer like that and save. Then all we need to do is follow the instructions in the training UI. We'll create a Leap Trainer controller like this right here. And then we'll import our two gestures. So this is left, copy that. And it goes here. Wow. And then we'll do the same for right. Okay. And uh, from Jason. Right. Okay, save that. Let's uh, get rid of the wrap. Okay. Now, the motion detection is set up. Leap Train will connect to the Leap Controller automatically. Our two gestures are imported, so we just need to bind them to our open and close functions. So we do that like trainer on on uh, left. We'll open. That's our open function. And on right, we close. Close function, 
All right. Save that. Switch back to here and refresh. Then we should be able to open and close. Open and close. So there you are. In five minutes, we go from a standard web interface to a motion interface, just like that.